we know that two numbers can be equal we know that they can be not equal but can sets be equal can one set be equal to another set let's think about it using an example we have this set 2 4 6 8 this is the set a is the set of first four even natural numbers let's take another set b this is where we're looking for x where x is the last digit of 2 to the power n where n belongs to natural numbers this in itself is a good problem you can pause the video and think about it okay so let's do this together we're looking for last digits of powers of 2 the first power is 2 then we have 4 then we have 8 then we have 16 the last digits are 2 4 8 6 2 4 8 6 6. but let's keep going the next power is 32 then 64 128 216 again last digits are 2 4 8 6 6 let's take four more we have these four powers 512 1024 2048 4, a very popular game and 4096 last digits 2 4 8 6 i don't think you get the point the pattern will repeat the last four digits will only be 2 4 8 and 6 now let's look at both of these sets a has four elements 2 4 6 and 8 b also has four elements 2 4 8 and 6 in fact they have the exact same elements and whenever that happens we can say that these two sets are equal again the order does not matter as long as the elements are exactly the same the sets are equal to each other whenever this is not the case we can say that the sets are not equal to each other let's do a few examples we have this set a b c d e f g and h now pause the video this won't take you a while figure out which sets are equal to each other okay so we have this first set 2 4 8 and 12 is there any any other set that has 2 4 8 and 12 well we have 8 4 and 12 here but instead of 2 we have 14 so can we say that these two sets are partially equal well no either the sets are equal or they're not equal and there's no set that has exactly these four elements so we'll have to skip a for b we have 1 2 3 4 D also has one, two, three, and four. So B and D, they're equal sets. Any other pair that we can find? F and H are almost equal. They have zero, but here we have one. Here we have A. So we'll have to reject these two. E and G minus one and one minus one and one. Yes, E and G are equal. So E is equal to G. These two pairs are equal to each other. All right. Let's do a few more. This is the set A. It's a set of letters in the word alloy. In set B is the set of letters in the word loyal. Are these two equal? What about this one? A the set of letters in the word follow and B the set of letters in the word wolf. Are these two equal? Well, yes. The set A has these elements A L O N Y and set B has these elements L O Y N A. Exact same elements. This means they are equal the same is the case for the next one the set a has these elements f o l and w b also has w o l f exact same elements these two are also equal now let's do a few math ones the set a has two elements 2 and 3 and this is set b we're looking for all x such that x is a solution of x square plus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 so we need to solve this quadratic to figure out what the elements of b are i'll write one more problem here a is the set of all x such that x minus 5 is 0 and b is the set of all x where x square is 25 pause the video try these two okay so there's nothing to do here for a but we have to solve this quadratic for b so let's do that x square plus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 and you can split the middle term you have x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 equal to 0 and you can take x common and you can take 3 common so you have x times x plus 2 plus 3 times x plus 2 and now you can take x plus 2 common you have x plus 3 times x plus 2 which gives us minus 3 and minus 2 as its roots so x can either be minus 2 or minus 3 which means the set b is minus 2 comma minus 3 and the set a is 2 and 3 so are these two equal 
unfortunately they are not equal what about the next one again there is little to do here there is more to do here so let's start with b x square is 25 which means x can either be minus 5 or 5 so b is the set of two elements minus 5 and 5 and a is the set of only one element that's only 5 so are these two equal think about it whatever you have here you also have here but what you have here which is minus 5 you don't have here these two sets don't have the exact same elements minus 5 is missing from set a this means that these two sets are not equal let's solve one last problem set a is the set of all x such that x minus 5 is 0 we've picked this from the last problem and we have changed set b set b now is the set of all x such that x is an integral positive root of the equation x square minus 2x minus 15 equal to 0. Think about it. Okay, let's do this together. Let's try solving this quadratic. x square minus 2x minus 15. Let's split the middle term. That's x square minus 5x plus 3x minus 15. Taking x common here and 3 common here, we have x times x minus 5 plus 3 times x minus 5. Taking x minus 5 common, we have x plus 3 times x minus 5 and this will give us the roots x is either minus 3 or 5 but hold on we are also given that it's in integral positive root so we only need to take the positive values so we'll skip this minus 3 and we'll pick this 5 because we only take the positive one x is 5 and the set b only contains this element 5 the set a also contains only one element which is 5 now we can see that both the sets are in fact equal